Our Lord is alive and he reigns supreme. Let us explore an often overlooked yet mighty spiritual weapon. This tool is at our disposal every day. It is not prayer nor fasting, nor is it the written word of God. Hmm. Though these are also very essential tools that we can use in spiritual warfare. No, it's not any of these, but this tool is light, soft, and joyous to disarm. It is laughter. Laughter is a divine gift. It is a holy language that bridges hearts and a weapon that can overthrow our deepest fears. Yet, despite its powerful impact, it is frequently forgotten in our spiritual arsenal. But not anymore, because today we are going to shine a light on this profound weapon of joy and uncover the immense power it holds for our spiritual journey. In Ecclesiastes 3 verse 4, the Bible says, A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, so today is your time to laugh, I say to you. Laugh, because your enemies are under your feet. Yes, you heard me right. Now, have you ever thought about the sound of laughter? Sometimes it's like music to the ears, isn't it? It's often a symphony of joy that lights up the room, fills the air, and spreads like wildfire. But as you are already aware, laughter may come in different kinds. It's like a coin with two sides. On one side, we have ridicule laughter, and on the other, we have joyous laughter. Ridicule laughter. This is the not-so-nice kind of laughter. It's when we laugh to make fun of others. It's when we laugh to hurt others. But God wants us to have joyous laughter, a righteous laughter. Understand that the power of a joyful spirit is often manifested through laughter. Joyous laughter is the good kind of laughter. It's when we laugh because we are happy or victorious. It's when we laugh because we feel good inside. God wants us to laugh out of joy and love. But there's more to the positive kind of laughter than meets the eye. Laughter is also a gift, a divine gift from our Creator. It's a weapon, a weapon so powerful that it puts our enemies under our feet. It can be a force as potent as the mightiest river and as enduring as the tallest mountain. Our God who holds the universe in his hands. He isn't a God of gloom and doom. He's a God of joy. A God who gives worthwhile laughter. We don't usually see God in scriptures laughing much, but in Psalms 2 verse 4, we see a unique picture of God. It says, He that sits in the heavens shall laugh. Imagine that, the creator of the universe laughing. It's not a laugh of amusement. No. It's a laugh of triumph, a laugh that echoes power, a laugh that sends a clear message to the enemy that they have lost, even before the battle has begun. This is the kind of laughter that God wants to see in us, his children. So I want you to understand that laughter is more than just a physical response to something funny. It's a spiritual weapon, a testament to our faith. When we laugh, we are declaring that we have faith in God, faith in that he is in control, faith that he has already won the victory on our behalf. We laugh because we serve a God who holds the world in his hands. We laugh because we know that whatever challenges we face, our God is greater. There is a story in the Bible of King Jehoshaphat in Second Chronicles verse 20. When faced with a massive enemy, King Jehoshaphat didn't know what to do. So he asked God for help. And what was God's answer? It wasn't to gather more weapons or call for more soldiers. God's answer was to put the praisers, the joyful ones, at the front of the army. They marched forward singing praises to God, their hearts full of joy. When we think about it, they laughed in the face of the enemy. And guess what happened? God fought their battle, and they won without even lifting a sword. That's the God we serve, and the power of the laughter and joy he gives. It's a weapon that can defeat the largest enemy. As the Bible says in Nehemiah 8 verse 10, Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. But the power of laughter doesn't stop there. Laughter is like medicine. Medicine for the body and the soul. Proverbs 17 verse 22 tells us, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. It's not just a beautiful saying. Science backs this up. 
I don't want to sound like a medical professional, but I must tell you this, because as believers it is true that edification brings much wisdom. When we laugh, our body releases a hormone called endorphins. These endorphins act like natural painkillers, making us feel good. Another thing laughter does is that it improves heart health. This is because laughter increases your heart rate and the amount of oxygen in your blood. This can further help improve your heart health and protect against heart disease. Laughter also boosts our immune system, making us healthier. It is also a great stress relief. Laughter helps reduce the level of stress hormones in the body. This means that laughing can help you feel more relaxed and less anxious. Additionally, when you laugh, you clear out your lungs by breathing deeper than usual. This can help people with respiratory ailments and promote an increased intake of oxygen. So we see here that God has created laughter to be a blessing for our bodies. But laughter isn't just good for the body. It's good for the soul, too. When we laugh, we feel a sense of joy and happiness. It lifts our mood and brightens our day. It's a way for our soul to express the joy of our salvation. Psalm 126 verse 2 says, Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. Laughter is a testament of God's blessings in our lives. It's an expression of the joy that flows from knowing God and experiencing His love. Laughter also strengthens our spirit. In the face of troubles, laughter serves as a shield for our faith. Laughing in the face of difficulties doesn't mean we are ignoring them. It means we trust in God, knowing that He will carry us through. It's a sign of a spirit that's strong in faith, a spirit that relies on God. Every time we laugh, we are declaring that our God is bigger than any problem we face. We are declaring that our God is stronger than any enemy we encounter. That's the power of laughter, the spiritual power that keeps our enemies under our feet. So I want to encourage you today, laugh, laugh with all your heart. In fact, let's start practicing right now. You may just have a good laugh while watching this video. <laughs> laugh because you are loved by God. Laugh because your God is bigger than any problem. Laugh because your enemies are under your feet. Laugh because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let us stand together, laugh together, and praise God together. For our God is a God of gladness, a God of joy. And when we laugh, we are echoing the victorious laughter of heaven. We are declaring our faith, our trust, and our confidence in God. So let's laugh, because in the name of Jesus your enemies are defeated. Psalm 92 verse 4 For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work, I will triumph in the works of your hands. May you always remember to laugh because sometimes life gets so busy and so stressful that we forget to laugh. May you always rejoice in the Lord, knowing that our God holds us in his hands and with him we are more than conquerors. Today, may the God of laughter, the God of joy, and the God of victory fill your hearts with his joyous laughter. Now to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God, Heavenly Father, my Rock and my Redeemer. I come before you today with a heart full of thanksgiving for your amazing grace and unconditional love. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of joy and laughter that cheers our hearts and blesses our soul. Father, I ask for divine laughter, a laughter of triumph, a laughter that declares my faith in you. Lord, may my laughter be a reflection of my trust in you and bring you honor, glory, and praise. May my laughter be a declaration of my knowledge that the battle has already been won and my enemies are under my feet. Lord, teach me to embrace the healing power of laughter for my body. As I journey through life, I pray for the grace to laugh freely, to experience the healing effects of a merry heart, knowing that it's like medicine to my body. Father, I pray that I will experience the physical benefits of laughter, the reduction of stress, the strengthening of my immune system, the heart and lung benefits, 
and the natural relief from pain. Lord, I invite your Holy Spirit to comfort me and fill me with joy into my soul. May my laughter be the overflow of the joy that you have deposited within me. When the storms of life try to overshadow my joy, Lord, may you remind me of the power of laughter that you have given. May it guide me back to you, back to your joy, and back to your peace. Lord, I ask that you lighten my spirit with gladness and faith. Strengthen my spirit, O Lord, with the power of laughter. In times of trials and tribulations, remind me to laugh in the face of adversity, not as a dismissal of reality, but as a declaration of my faith in you. When I face difficulties, may my laughter be a testament to my unshakable belief in your power. Father, I thank you that you will work all things together for my good. I thank you that you will turn my sorrows into gladness. Lord, help me to use the gift of laughter in spiritual warfare. To laugh at the enemy because I know that you have already declared the victory. Father, just as you laugh at the wicked, let my laughter also be a declaration of defeat to every enemy that rises against me. Let my laughter strike fear into the heart of the enemy. Let it remind them that they are under my feet. May it remind them that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. Lord, as I walk in this world, let my laughter be a beacon of hope to others, a reflection of your joy living in me. I pray that through my laughter, others may come to experience the joy of your salvation, the peace that surpasses all understanding, and the love that is deeper than we can ever comprehend. In all things, Lord, let your will be done in my life. Keep me in your love, fill me with your joy, and teach me to laugh with the confidence of one whose God is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I ask these things in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comment section below. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can stand in agreement with you right now. To God be all the glory. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.